Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. So I wanted to do a cooking video for you guys. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you what we are having for dinner tonight. All right, all right, so I got this Super Bowl pizza, or Super Bowl pizza, this football shaped pepperoni pizza from Aldi. Um, I have some chicken wings that I bought back in December, or actually no, right at the beginning of January from Costco. I have some beef shaved steak. We're gonna make some cheese steaks with these. I have the peppers right here, green peppers, and then the assorted peppers. This is the rolls that we're gonna be using, just regular white sub rolls. I got these yesterday from Lidl along with the peppers. Um, the steak I got from Aldi and then of course mayo. I have some cheese that I got back in January from um, Costco as well. And this is just some leftover sauce that I have. These are rice and sausage balls and they have like some other odd seasonings and things in them. Um, I saw these yesterday at Lidl and I wanted to try them. Um, I forgot what they're called, but if you go back and watch my last video, you'll see what these are called. But And then finally, I have this. I got this from Target, actually. Um, in one of my other videos, I showed you guys this wine that I got, and um, I had no idea, again, that Snoop Dogg was even doing wine, but apparently so. So I'm going to open this and tell you what you guys, tell you what I think about it. And then these are some Lady Gaga Oreos that I got. I'm gonna see if I can open these for you. I'll show you a little peek just in case you're wondering what they look like. So this is it. They are pink. I don't know if it's showing up, but these are, the cookies are pink, the cream is green. <laughs> Somebody comment down below like what the heck this has to do with Lady Gaga because I'm like lost. But I mean, they taste pretty, they taste regular to me. Like, I mean, of course the cookies are strawberry flavored, but other than that, it's pretty much the same as regular cookies. I'm gonna put the pizza in the oven. I'm gonna put the chicken in the oven. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start on the beef shaved, uh, beef shaved steak. I'm gonna start um, cooking this on the stove and cut up the vegetables. And then I'm going to probably put this in gonna put this in last minute as well um and then yeah we'll bring everything together right, so right off the gate we've already hit a snag in our super bowl preparations because i forgot to get a corkscrew and i have no idea how i'm gonna open this at all and i don't feel like going back out because i'm i'm in you know that feeling when you're like in and you're not planning on going back out so yeah i guess i'm gonna have to save this for another day maybe i'll save it for valentine's day <sighs> Here is the football shaped pizza. It's basically pepperoni pizza. So I'm getting ready to stick this in the oven. Gabe, can you get the oven door for me? All right, y'all, so I've already put the steak on the stove. I'm getting ready to get my little spatula and start chopping this up. And uh, well, not chopping it up, but you know, browning this. And I just put like a little bit of butter in there. I like the way butter tastes on thinly sliced steak like this, so. I'll come back and show you what the sort of kind of finished product looks like for the steak. All right, y'all, so I finally got the steak broken up and it's browning really nice. I put some of this steak seasoning up here that I got from Aldi. And I'm also gonna put some um, Lee and Perrins up here as well. Got my Lee and Perrins here and I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some of that up there. Did I say sprinkle? I meant drizzle. All right. Stir it up a little bit. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. All right, I'm gonna take this out in just a few more minutes. I'm gonna let it get a little bit browner. I like my meat to be right really brown. So I'm gonna put the chicken wings in now, the wingettes. And back up here with my steak. I think it looks pretty good actually. I like making sure all my meat is done. And like I said, I like my meat a little bit, not burnt, but like, I just want it, I want it brown. I like brown meat, dark meat.
I almost forgot to put the um, rice and sausage balls up there. So we slipped those around beside the pizza. So we got pizza, sausage balls, and the wings on the bottom. And I'm getting ready to take this uh, steak up. All right, y'all. So I've taken the um, steak out of the frying pan. And while that is sitting there, I'm going to brown some garlic. Turn my stove down a little bit. I just left the, like whatever little bit of grease was in here. It wasn't a whole lot actually. So that tells you it's pretty lean steak. But I'm just gonna brown this a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some, um, the green peppers. I decided just to add green peppers and not the other peppers. Just because we're all hungry and um, I just want to quickly chop up these peppers so I can get this going. All right, y'all, so I finished sauteing my garlic. I added some green peppers. Um, I didn't do onions. Actually, my kids don't really like onions. I was planning on adding them, but people started complaining, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be nice today. So I added my um, steak back, and it's more or less just to warm it up, not really for any other reason. Let those juices all marinate and cook together. My son is actually putting the rest of the sandwich together, the bread and the mayo and the cheese. So just wanted to show you this. This smells, oh my God. This is actually my first time cooking in this house. Well, no, actually I'm lying. This is my second time cooking. I made a, a egg sandwich the other day, but this is my first time cooking like dinner here like myself, not something that I prepared and not just something that I got from the store and put in the oven. It's a little bit difficult with this hand in this brace because technically I'm not supposed to be lifting anything over a pound, but we managed, we managed. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take this off the eye and take it over to the table and show you um, basically plating it and putting the sandwich together. I almost forgot my secret ingredient it's sour cream. I put sour cream, y'all, on everything. I put maybe like a tablespoon of sour cream in here and I'm just mixing it in. I love the way that sour cream tastes, especially with beef. Um, I love it with ground beef and also, you know, just regular sliced beef as well. I think it has a really good, like, flavor. It adds a nice flavor to it, in my opinion. So. I did that. Now I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna start putting the subs together. All right, y'all, so the pizza got a little bit burnt, but that's okay. Sasha's balls are ready as well. So we're gonna go ahead and move this over to the table also. Chicken wings are still cooking. So here's our steak mixture. I'm gonna scoop it and put it over here on our bread. I tried to put the cheese on just one side, the top bun side. That's how I like mine's. I don't know about y'all steak over here and y'all are wondering again why why i'm moving so slow i have this hand that i have to be careful with so i'm trying to scoop it up there as efficiently as possible all right and move on to my all right guys so here is our little super bowl setup so we are actually waiting on our sofa it comes out um february 13th so in the meantime we put down a little pallet on the floor. So each of us has our cheese steak. We've got our pizza, our football shaped pizza, our sausages rolls, and we also have chips. I forgot to bring those out earlier. We have chips and dip. And yeah, this is pretty much our little Super Bowl party, our little family Super Bowl party anyway. Look at our cheese steak. It looks so good, so good. I'm ready to dig into this. So. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this little cooking video. Um, there will be many, many more videos to come. This is just kind of a little teaser. Comment below in the comments what's on you guys' Super Bowl menu. And until next time, I shall see you in the next video.